Um, you touched on something that's really important, and I'm starting to see it a lot in the world we live in, where anxiety and depression is hitting mm. earlier and earlier. You have children that are not even teenagers talking about anxiety, and then teenagers having depression and anxiety. And part of me almost feels like, is this because of the overwhelming weight of the desensitization of sin in the world or not? And I'm sure the answer is affirmative. But if you can touch on that, because I'm sure there's a lot of people who experience this, that there is a weight to not having spirituality in your life. And that may be causing this imbalance in all of us to feel more anxious or to feel more alone. Of course it does. It is absolutely affirmative. Um, again, like, you know, God's commandments are given to us to remain in His image and to be in His likeness. God's commandments, very simply put, are the manual of operation that He gives to tell us how to function. So if I have the same thing for my car, right, but I refuse to change the oil, I refuse to change the oil, whatever it is, right, the transmission oil, engine oil, whatever it is, right? So the, the car is not, functionally functioning properly well, whose fault is that right so again it's not about blaming anyone here but this is the purpose of god's commandment so when i choose willingly to to avoid them and i choose willingly to to again desecrate my soul this is what's going to happen it's a natural consequence of this disobedience so god he's not like you know this this dictator that says you have to do this if not or no god god says i love you i've created you i am the source of life i am the source of love i am the source of everything that you desire but i've set between you a path that leads to life and a path that leads to death because because i am love i have to give you this free will so, so but choose properly sometimes we only focus on the big sins as if these things don't matter. But the reality is that these small sins end up leading us to bigger and bigger sins. And the accumulation of the small sins in themselves become very problematic on a spiritual level, which hits the psychological, right? It affects it. And therefore, there is depression, there is anxiety. So if you think about it this way, like when I tell the youth, you know, like when people want to break God's commandments, so I'm like, why? Like you, you think the world has freedom? Right? Are you jealous of what the world has? You think they can do whatever they want and you're jealous of that? Well, look at the end. Look at the consequences, the ramifications of these decisions. What happened? Depression, anxiety, suicide rates up the roof mm -hmm. and still growing. Okay, so why, why can't you learn from the other person's mistake. Why can't you fill yourself with God? Again, everything, you know, done properly at your level. I don't want to sound extreme, but enlighten the world. Show them the joy of Christ. Become the salt of the earth. Why do you want to imitate the neighbor that is in darkness? Become the light, right? Yeah. Yeah. There is also something to be said about how it is we must absolutely teach our children to recognize just how fake everything that they're drowning in is. Mm. There is so much that is seen today that our kids are consuming, whether it be through, you know, whether it be TikTok or YouTube or whenever they're on social media and Instagram, everything that they're seeing is positioned in a way where you're only seeing a very specific angle of it that we all know is fake. Do you remember growing up we used to have those cameras where you had to wind them up to be able to take mm -hmm. pictures. Do you remember those? Those were fantastic. You had like 24 shots that you could take. 24 shots. And once Most you important 24 shots of your life. Absolutely, yeah. because if you miss the moment, you miss oh, the okay. moment. It's not like selfies today where you can take 12 and pick the best one, apply a filter, make everything look like it's nice and dandy. There is something that we have to teach our children and all of these young people about how it is that like all of this is counterfeit. It might look like a real bill. It might look like it's actually a hundred dollar bill, but it's counterfeit. It actually has no value. Why? Because it's made for it to look like it's appealing. But in reality, that person who is portraying themselves 
as happy and joyful and successful and can have whatever they want. Exactly like Father said, what is the end of all of this? Why do we see so many people in Hollywood who are hyper successful mm. in this and that still choose to take their own lives, mm. live in slavery to addiction, whether it be to substances or to fame or this and that? Why do we see that? Because in the end, despite the fact of having the appearance of looking like they're happy and successful, there's an emptiness, a void that only God can fill that no matter how much fame or popularity or money you throw at them, it doesn't satisfy the person. It's all fake, empty. Mm. 